Good morning, everybody. How are you this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Smith. Good morning, Mr. Brown. Good morning, students. We welcome you all back. We apologize. Class is starting a little bit late, so we're going to get right into it today. I'm your teacher for the day. My name is Miss Smith, and I'm accompanied by Miss Brown. That's Miss Brown. And we have Mr. Brown, okay? And we are always excited to hear from you, okay? And we're going to quickly ask you, which islands are you coming from? Best shout out to some of these islands. Nassau. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. We have so long. Luther, Freeport, Abaco, San Salvador, Nassau, New Providence. Most of them cases from New Providence. They're just, they're just rolling in, rolling in. United States. Amal Miller is joining us from the United States. And oh, the that's fantastic. That is just awesome. We also have in the question and answer section a new teacher, and her name is Miss Marjorie Penniman. And Miss Penniman, you would like to say good morning? Good morning, everyone. It's nice to meet you again today. Okay, and we have three teachers that assist you with marking. Their names are Miss Trivia Culmer, Miss Yasmin Clinton, and um, we have Miss Bodine Johnson. And the third, the, who's the next teacher? Did I say Miss Trivia Culmer? I think so. Okay, so we're going to get right into the lesson today, and it's going to be very exciting. So I want to ask you. How well do you know Miss Brown, your teacher? How well do you know Miss Brown? They are saying, well, they say not at all, eight out of 10. <laughs> Somebody says 10 out of 10. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> okay, so you would give her an eight out of 10 or a 10 out of 10? They're saying five out of 10, one out of 10, eight out of 10, three out of 10, not well enough. Some, some persons know me well, some say none at all. Okay, awesome. Ms. Brown, could you see the screen? Yes, I can. So today is going to be a very exciting day. All week and the week before, you were writing stories. And I think, we think you did a fantastic job. And today we're going to look at different types of characters. And I'm going to introduce this lesson by asking you if you know about your teacher, Ms. Brown. Okay? Give me a minute, my PowerPoint. How well do you know Ms. Brown? And I'm going to ask you some questions. Number one, what is her favorite color? They're what saying is blue, it? blue, gray, brown, blue, yellow, I guess because I have the sun. Okay, one person said pink is going so fast. Mazunik, I think, said the right answer. Pink is my favorite color. Okay, so notice now, most of uh, one person got it right, but a lot of you got it wrong. Let's see if you're, you're better at the second one. What is Miss Brown's favorite snack? Somebody says chips, chocolates, Oreos, cookies. Cookies. Okay. Yeah, a lot of them are saying cookies. Those who said cookies got it right. Not Oreo cookie, just oatmeal cookies. Okay, very good. You did better the second time. So now let's go to the third point. What is Miss Brown's favorite pet? Cats, dogs, cats, dogs, birds, rabbits. The answers are rolling in. Turtles, no, they're too slow for me. <laughs> um, fish, I used to like fish years ago, but not anymore. Too boring too. I like puppies. I puppies. like dogs, yes. Okay, Miss Brown, did you, did you find your puppy? Yes, he came back. I don't know how, but he spot is back, praise the Lord. That is awesome. And now this is the last question. How many brothers and sisters um, does Miss Brown have? Okay. I've seen various answers. Some say 10 to 2. Two <laughs> sisters, okay. 10. Don't. So Miss Brown, what is, the, rolling in. what is the answer? The answer is I have one sister. Only one wow. sister and two brothers. Wow, so that is three. Dominique got it. Dominique Hanchel got it. Okay, so very good. You tried, but I asked you questions about Miss Brown, and you, go, you, you can only guess, but you don't know for sure. You couldn't give me a definitive answer because you really don't know Miss Brown. Although Miss Brown is your English teacher, you don't know her as well as you know your friends and your family members. She is a flat character in your life, and today... We're going to look at different types of characters. And when I teach you these different types of characters, if you include these characters in your stories, 
you will be an even better writer. You are fantastic now, but you will even be more fantastic once you include these things in your stories. Our objectives for today, number one, review what our characters. Number two, define characterization terms. And number three, categorize characters in two stories using the new terms. So I'm gonna teach you some new words about characters. I hope you are excited I know Mr. Brown is excited to teach you. I'm excited. <laughs> awesome. Number one, review what are characters. Okay, what are characters? I taught you this last week. What is a character? A character is a person, animal, being, creature, or thing in a story. Who is the most interesting character you watch on television recently? Who is the most interesting character you watched on television recently? SpongeBob. SpongeBob, SpongeBob. Luz Tanjaro, Steven, Black Lightning, Power Rangers. Okay, awesome, awesome. So all of you watch TV and you enjoy learning about different types of characters on the television. But I want you to transfer that to your writing. You have to ask yourself, why do you like these certain characters? What about them is interesting? And let's look at what are character traits. These are words we use to describe a character's personality. A person's personality is the way they act. Example, and now we're going to look at Mr. Brown. Okay? Can you give me a, a trait to describe Mr. Brown? He is very what? Rose Lazard says, funny, fat, greedy, fat, greedy, fat. Now, let's look at the word greedy and let's look at the word fat. One of those words is correct. One is a character trait and one is a physical trait. A character trait only describes the way the character acts, not the way they look. So which word is incorrect between greedy and fat? Antonelle says, fat is incorrect. Christopher Every and Liam, they're saying fat. Very good. Very good. So we're looking at, when you're looking at a character and we're talking about characters, we're talking most of the time about their personality. So a character trait is the character's personality. Including different types of characters in your writing makes your story more exciting. Okay, now we have some characters here and I want you to tell me who is your favorite character in this list, from this list. Which one will be your favorite character? Nemo, Wally, Wood, Woody, Nemo, Merida, Brave, The Incredible. Okay, so these are all different types of characters in the story. And we're going to get right into it, learning about the different types of characters. And these are the words I'm going to teach you today. I'm teaching you six new words. The first one is major, major characters, minor characters, flat characters, round characters, static characters, and dynamic. So the words I'm teaching you today are major, minor, flat, round, static, and dynamic. Do you know the meanings of these words? Or I will ask you, which words do you not know from the list? Deshaun says none. Chris says all. Leandro says minor. Yeah, various answers, all except flat. And we need to say all. Okay, so for some, for most of you, some of these terms are going to be new. And for um, some of you, all the terms may be new. So we enjoy teaching you something new. Miss Miss somebody says that it sounds like music theory. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. We're going to now play a short story from Red Riding Hood. Ms. Brown, could you play the story, please? Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. Can you see? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She lived with her mother in a village near a forest. One day, Little Red Riding Hood went to visit her grandmother. She took a basket of food with her. On her way, Little Red Riding Hood met a wolf. Hello, said the wolf. 
Where are you going? I'm going to visit my grandmother who lives in the forest, explained Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf ran to grandmother's house. He went inside, put on a nightgown and got into her bed. A little later, Little Hood came to the house. She knocked on the door, then went inside. Little Red Riding Hood went over to Grandmother's bed. Oh, Granny, what big ears you have, she said. All the better to hear you with, answered the wolf. Oh, Granny, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, replied the wolf. Oh, Granny, what big teeth you have, gasped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, replied the wolf. Help! shouted Little Red Riding Hood as she realised that there was a wolf in her grandmother's bed. She ran out of the house. A woodcutter was nearby. He heard Little Red Riding Hood screech cutter hit the wolf over the head. The wolf ran away and Little Red Riding Hood never saw him again. Okay, so that is a story that all of you are very familiar with, Red Riding Hood. And um, that story contains many different types of characters. We looked at that story before when we were discussing character traits, but now we're going to look at that story while we discuss different terms and different types of characterization. That leads us to our second objective, to find character terms. The first one we're going to look at off the list of the six I told you is what is a major character? The major character is seen the most in the story. The plot sentence centers around the major character. Who is the major character in Red Riding Hood? Who is the character that is seen the most in the story? Mario says Little, Kiana says Red White Riding Hood. Most of them are saying Little Red Riding Hood. Very good, very good. So Red Riding Hood is certainly the major character in that story. So the first type of character you need to know is what is a major character. The opposite of what is a major character is what is a minor character. So if a major character is a character that you see all the time in a story, what do you think a minor character is? Okay, the answers are coming in. What is a minor character? The Andrew McIntosh says that you don't see them in the story as much. You see less of them. They are seen less in the story, Trine says. Very good. Excellent answers. A minor character is not mentioned much in the story. They play a less significant role. Now, who are the minor characters in the story, Red Riding Hood? Who are the characters that are not mentioned that much? The guy who cuts the wood is the minor character, Jara says. Very good. The woodman, Raquel, says. Very good. Excellent answers. Don't forget the mother who gave the basket. She's only mentioned at the beginning of the story. That is the person who sends Red Riding Hood into the woods. And yes, we don't want you to think that these minor characters are not important. They help the story. They're just not the one, the, the, character, the character that the whole story is about. And then we have the hunter. And most of you said that, so you did a very good job. Very good. So now let's go on to what is a flat character. So that's different. I want you to look at my hands. One hand is round and one hand is flat. Characters could be round or characters can be flat. Miss Brown, as we discuss in the introduction, is a flat character to you. What do you think a flat character is? What not do you much think? Oh, not much what? 
development. Gerardo is saying not much development in that character. Philip is saying no character. Fantastic. So let's look at the, the definition. A flat character is a one-dimensional character. There are only a few traits that we can use to describe them. So when we were looking to describe Miss Brown in the introduction, you realize you didn't know her that well. The only thing you know about Miss Brown and myself is that we are your English teachers, but you can't say much about our personalities outside of the classroom. So to you, we will be flat characters. So we don't have a lot of traits. So we will be like this in your life. Now, let's look at an, exa a, an example from Red Riding Hood. Who is the flattest character in that story? Who is the flattest character in Red Riding Hood? Mom. Uh, Rada says mom. Trené says the mother. Leandro, the mother. Anique. The, Alyssa says the mother, the grandmother. You, you are very correct. I would say it's the mother or the hunter because they are hardly mentioned in the story. The hunter comes at the end and then you have the mother who's only mentioned at the beginning. And we don't have a lot of traits to describe them. So there's not many. After you say... The, what words could be used to describe the hunter? He is very... Is it easy to come up with traits to describe the hunter? Yes, it is. They're saying, Clee, Johnson, nice, handsome, awesome, brave, nosy. Somebody said nosy. <laughs> okay, so these are all traits to describe the hunter, but after, you can only refer to the hunter in terms of how he saved Red Riding Hood. You don't know anything else about the hunter's life. You don't know if the hunter has children. He's a very flat character. The only thing we know about the hunter is that he is a hunter. We don't even know his name. So we know a flat character is a character that you, you don't have much traits about the character. There's not many things we can say to describe the character's personality. So we know the flat character doesn't have a lot of traits. What could we say about the round character? What is a round character? What do you think a round character is? It's the opposite of a flat character. Adrian says the most known character who has a lot of traits, Gerardo adds. Can Very I good. A person that has a lot of traits. Excellent. So let's look. Let's look. A round character is fully developed and has many traits. In your life, who would be a round character in your life? Who would you? Who is the one person you you know you know for sure? You could describe all of their personality traits. Family, my mother. Liam says my mother. Deja, my parents. Very good. So your family members would be round to you. And a lot of other persons, you could see us every day. You see Miss Brown and you see me every day. We may be major characters in your English class, but we are, we are, we are flat. Okay? So there's not many personality traits you could use to describe us. But your mother your mother will be a round character because you can't find a lot of traits to describe her. Now, who are the round characters in the story Red Riding Hood? Who can we give a lot of, um, we, we can find a lot of traits to describe that character? The wolf. Very good. The wolf and Red Riding Hood. Basically, those two characters, you can find a lot of things to say about them. So you are absolutely correct. Now, we, so far, we looked at the terms major. A major character is a, a character that's seen a lot in the story. A minor character, a character that's not seen a lot. We looked at what is a flat character. That's a character where that you may not find a lot of traits to describe the character. And we looked at a round character, a character where you have a lot of traits you can use to, to describe that character. Now, we're going to look at what is a static character. Do you know this word static? What is a static character? Or is this something new? Many of them are saying that they don't know. So that's wonderful. So you're going to learn something new today. Let's look at what a static character is. A static character does not change. They stay the same throughout the entire story. Their personality is consistent. Who are the static characters in Red Riding Hood? So... A static character is someone that doesn't change. So for me and Miss Brown, do we change our personalities or are we the same every day? They're answering the, red, the quest, first question. They're saying Red Riding Hood and the, the wolf are okay. the static ca characters. Okay, so let's look, at, let's look at that carefully and let's discuss that. The question is, who are the static characters in Red Riding Hood? So I'm asking you, who are the characters that 
do not change. The mother, the mother is the same the entire time because she and she's a minor character, and we know that she. The only thing we know about the mother is she gave a basket of food to give to grandmother, so we know she's nice, but we don't have we don't have her changing. Okay, and then we have Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood is also a static character because throughout the entire story, Red Riding Hood personality does not change. Okay, she stays the same. At the beginning of the story, she is nice, and at the end of the story, she is nice. The only thing that happened in Red Riding Hood is that the wolf ate her. It's, it's a physical change, but in terms of her personality, it stays the same. And then we have the Grammy. The Grammy is a minor character, but she is static. She does not change because throughout the entire story, she stays the same. Her personality is the same. And we have the hunter. The hunter is another minor character who has a small role, but he is static because his personality does not change. Now, what is a dynamic character? If a static character is a character that does not change, what is a dynamic character? Can I say the wolf? Chris? What, what is, before you tell me the answer, tell me what is a dynamic character? Miana says a character that changes. Very Jack good. says a person who shows all the action. Now, could you imagine, like me and Miss Brown are talking now, could you imagine if suddenly I start talking to you like this? I say, not children, you know, I don't like children. I don't like this. Then I am changing. I'm not, I'm never going to do that. I love children. But if I do that to you, I would be a dynamic character. I would change on you and I would become a mean teacher. I would change from being a nice teacher to a mean or a crazy teacher, okay? So a dynamic character is a character that changes. Their personality traits change in the story. Now, who is the dynamic character in the story Red Riding Hood? There's one character in that story that changes in that personality. Can you figure out who it is? The wolf. Exactly. So the wolf starts off as this, what kind of person? How is the wolf at the beginning of the story? What traits did the wolf show at the beginning of the story when he met Red Riding Hood in the woods and asked her where she was going? He was very what? They are all saying a nice person. He was a nice, gentle person. And how was he at the end of the story? Sly, Shania says. Sly and uh, mean. Very good. So he changed. He, he changed in his personality. So the same way I said, if I came in front of you and started being mean, started um, saying something mean, then I'm changing in my personality. And you have persons like that. Do you have persons in your school or some of your friends who are not the same all the time? They change in their personality? Yes. So they would be dynamic characters in your life. And if you have someone that's the same the, the entire time, they're nice every day or they're mean every day, but they're the same the whole time, then they're static characters. Okay, so the wolf is an example of a dynamic character from the Red Riding Hood. So remember I taught you what is a minor character? A minor character is a character that's hardly seen in the story. And then we have a major character, a character that's seen all the time. Then we looked at what is a flat character that's a character that's not many character traits to describe that character. Example, always think about Miss Brown and myself and even Mr. Brown. We're all flat to you. Then you have a round character. That'll be a mummy. Somebody that you know a lot and you have a lot of traits to describe. Then you have a static character. That's a character that does not change throughout the entire story. So think of Red Riding Hood. She is a major character. You see her all the time, but her personality is the same throughout the entire story. So she is static. Then you have a dynamic character that is the wolf. He changes in his personality from this nice person to a main person. So that's the six terms, major, minor, flat, round, static, and dynamic. Okay, so we're going to go on to objective number three, categorize characters from two stories using the new terms. So we're gonna practice with Red Riding Hood and then we're gonna go on to another story. Now, how do you categorize characters? When we characterize characters, we are placing them into categories. 
Okay, so categories are groupings, like how we group the genres of literature. So just like we look at these books and we, we, we can say this book is a poetry book and this book is a story book. We're putting them into categories, poetry, story book. And so it's the same thing we do with characters. We put characters into categories as well. Okay, and that's what I taught you today. So these are the six terms that I taught you in terms of character. Major, minor, flat, round, static, and dynamic. Okay, say with me. Major, minor, flat, round, static, and dynamic. There are other terms, but those are the ones I'm teaching you today. So, let's look at the instructions. Categorize the characters in the story, Red Riding Hood. The characters are her mother, we have Red Riding Hood, the wolf, her Grammy, and the hunter. So, in that story, which of the characters are round? You can find many traits to describe them. Which character is round? Or characters are round? Chris Page and Geneva both say the wolf. Very good. The and mother, Red Riding Hood. Very good. So those two characters are round. So in the round column, we would put Red Riding Hood and we would put the wolf. Now, let's look at characters that are flat. Going back to the character list, which characters in this story do you remember are flat? There are not many traits we could use to describe the characters. The grandmother, the mom, the mother, the hunter. Brianna says the mommy. Very good. So there's three characters here. And so in this column you will put on the flat you will put the hunter the mother and the grandmother because we don't have many traits to describe those characters so what about static this is a character that does not change let's look at the characters again which characters do not change in terms of their personality the mother is she static or dynamic does, does the mother change Eliana says yes the mother my Lester says the hunter. Okay, so the mother, very good, is a static character. Red Riding Hood does not change. She is a static character. Is the wolf a static character? Is the wolf the same throughout the entire story? Is the wolf is the wolf the same throughout the entire story? Or does the wolf oh, change? The wolf the wolf changes. Very good. And then her Grammy and the Hunter are also static. So in this category here, under static, you will be putting everybody except the wolf. All of the other characters stay the same. So now let's look at that dynamic character. That's the character that changes. Which character in the story would be put under the dy dynamic character? The character that changes. The wolf. Excellent. So this was your practice, and now I'm going to give you a real test. And I know you're excited for te um, test time. So let's look at the instructions. Characterize the characters in the story, the little red hen. Okay, and I'm very excited to see what you're going to do. So I'm going to begin by asking, by reviewing with you how to characterize a character. When we characterize a character, we are placing them into categories. We put the same characters that are like in the same categories and the categories I taught you are major, minor, flat, round, static, and dynamic. Let's say it together again, major, minor, flat, round, static, and dynamic. Excellent, so those are the terms there, okay? So I'm gonna stop now and ask Ms. Brown to, to play the second story. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Okay, it's loading right now. Can you see now? Um, yeah, yes, ma'am. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. The Little Red Hen, a folktale classic by Paul Galdone. Once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. 
The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon, the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now, who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The little red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. Soon, a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will, cried the cat. I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. The hen said myself, I planted the wheat, I tended the wheat, I cut the wheat, I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. All by myself, I gathered the sticks, I built the fire, I mixed the cake, and all by myself, I am going to eat it. And so she did to the very last crumb. After that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. Okay, so the, I, I love that story. I don't know if you like that story. Did you find that story to be interesting? Did you like that story? And while we're doing that, we're going to look at some of the characters from the story. The first character was the cat. Then we have a dog. We have a mouse. And who was the last character? What did they say, Miss Brown? Who was, the, who was the last character in the story? The hen. It seems as if my chat is glitching. Let me just... Um... Your volume is low. Okay. Very good. So the hen is the, la is the last character in that story. So we have a cat, a dog, a mouse, and a hen. 
And I love this story because it's, it's a story that has all the different types of characters. So my question to you is, and my computer's freezing. I want you to characterize the characters from that story based on what I taught you. I taught you what a minor character is, with what a flat character is, what a round character is, what a major character is, what a static character is, and what a dynamic character. And let's quickly review. A round character is a character where you can find a lot of traits to describe that character. An example would be a mother. A flat character, you can't find many traits to describe that person. Examples will be Miss Brown, Mr. Brown, and myself. A static character is a character that does not change. Think of Red Riding Hood through the entire story. She had the same personality. And a dynamic character is a character that changes. Think of the wolf. So now I want you to think of the little red hen and let's discuss the characters. Round. Who would you say is round in the little red hen? Rory Tapp said that the hen is a round character. The red hen. And Excellent. Very good. Very good. So the red hen, you can find some, a lot of traits to describe the red hen. Who would be flat? Who would be flat in that story? Okay. The flat characters are the mouse. They're saying the mouse, the dog, the cat. Okay. The mouse. For all of those characters, we can give the same trait. What trait can we use to describe the cat, the mouse, and the dog? What could we say about their personality? They are all very... Okay, they are saying that they are all very lazy. Exactly. So that's, that's the thing to, to describe them. So that's why they are flat. So the round character will be the hen. The flat characters will be the dog, the cat, and the mouse. So now let's look at static characters. Which one of these, which, which characters in the story do not change. Okay, the characters that don't change, they are saying Carrie, saying the red hen, Trine the hen, Mario the hen. Okay, so let's discuss that. At the beginning of the story, the hen was very what? Okay, at the beginning of the story, the hen was very, the answers are coming in, busy, Working hard, nice, hard working. Okay, very good. So the, it was, the, the hen was hard working, was, the hen was nice, okay? The hen did all of the work for everybody. They, the hen just let them lay down. The hen cleaned the house. The hen went and got the, the wheat. The hen went and turned the wheat into flour. Now, at the end of the story, was the hen still nice? Okay, the answers are coming in. The answers are coming in. They are saying, at 15 minutes left to go, they're saying no. They're all saying no. Okay, so the would you say, would you still say the hen is the same throughout the entire story? Remember, at the beginning of the story, we said the hen was nice. And at the end of the story, we said the hen is not nice. Why was the hen not nice at the end of the story? Why was the hen not nice at the end of the story? Okay, the hen wasn't nice at the end of the story. Jara says she did the right thing at the end. The rest are saying she didn't share. She didn't share her cake. Okay, so I agree. I wouldn't share my cake either. But even though we agree that she did the right thing, we all probably wouldn't share our cake. It still wasn't a nice thing to do. And so she was nice at the beginning, but at the end, she wasn't nice. So do you think she is still a static character? Is she a character that does not change? Okay. Would you, would you say she changes? They're saying no. They're saying yes. She, she changes. Okay. So let's look back at the character list. Which one of these characters do not change? Or uh, then There's more than one. Who stays the same throughout the entire story? Okay. What would you say? Is the cat the same throughout the entire story? The cat is lazy in the beginning. Is the cat lazy at the end? Okay, yes. Cats changed. They are saying the cat changed. Okay, how did the cat change? How did the cat change? Okay, the very messages, good. for some reason, they're taking, they're very slow. The answers are, 
Take you are over. absolutely correct, but I don't want to. I want you to tell me. I don't want to give you the answer. So, how did the cat change? At the very beginning, the cat, the dog, and the mouse, all of them weren't doing any work. But what happened at the end of the story? Okay, Miss Smith, can you continue? The chat is freezing for a moment. It's freezing okay. a little. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I see that. So we apologize. There seems to be internet problems today. But the cat, the dog, and the mouse, throughout the entire story at the beginning, they didn't do anything. They lay down all day. They didn't, they didn't go and get the wheat. They didn't assist in turning it into flour. And they did not make the cake. But at the end, when the hen ate the entire cake by herself, they volunteered at that point to go and do household chores. So you are absolutely correct that the hen, sorry, that the cat, the dog, and the mouse are all dynamic characters because they change at the end. They go from lazy to actually becoming hardworking. And so all of these characters in this story are dynamic. The cat changes from lazy to hardworking, along with the dog and the mouse. And the hen changes from being nice to sort of being mean at the end of the story. So... For the round characters, we have the hen. For the flat characters, we have the dog, the cat, and the mouse. For the static characters, we have nobody because they all change. All of the characters are dynamic. Okay, so we're heading towards the end of our lesson. What did you learn today? What are characters? Is the chat still freezing, Ms. Brown? Yes, it's still freezing. <laughs> Okay, I know you know what a character is. A character is simply somebody in the story. It can be an animal, it could be a thing, if you think of SpongeBob, or it can be a person. What are traits? These are words we use to describe a character's personality, how they act. What is a static character? A static character is a character that does not change. And I would love to know a new word you learned today, but we're going to wait and see if the chat will unfreeze. Okay. So they are saying now that they learned about the types of characters. They learned how to describe the type of characters, a person's personality, Kamari is saying how they act. They learned flat, static, static and dynamic minor characters. Um, Jernik is also saying minor as well. Now, the reason why you need to know about these different characters is so that when you write your story, you include these different characters in your story. We want to make sure that you include a character that changes, a dynamic character, include some characters that don't change, and make sure you have at least one round, one well-developed character in your story. So that is our lesson for today. And this is your homework. Review all the topics you learned for the last two weeks and prepare for Fun Friday. So tomorrow, we're going to have fun, okay? On Friday, you will be testing on all the topics that you were taught by your language teachers, and it will be fantastic. So we're going to have, we, me and Ms. Brown are planning some exciting things for you tomorrow. So your homework is to, to go through all the videos that we've taught so far and review everything and prepare for Fun Friday. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure teaching you. Bye, grade seven. Bye. It's 1051. We'll okay. try for, for Jaira. Um, we, we, will, we are looking into, into Kahoot. We aim to please you, and we see a lot of you are asking about Kahoot, so we, we might play it tomorrow. Okay, for Fun Friday. Just make sure that you study. Bye. And Mr. Brown says bye. Bye. That's Miss Penniman. She says bye as well. Okay. God bless you all. Okay. So the code for the Google Classroom is for some of you who are asking DFW4SBL. I typed it in the, the chat so you'll be able to write it down for those of you who didn't have it before. That's the code. I'll type it again. Okay, bye. Hi. My, my um, screen is freezing as normal because I was trying to leave the meeting.
It's not allowing me to leave. Okay. Bye, Wim Felicia, Trine. Bye, Adriana. Bye bye. A Adriana, do not oversleep. Bye, Ryan. Ryan Delavu. Bye, Leandra. Bye, Kenai. Bye, Floyd.